Hi everyone, this is Katie and today I'm going to be planning in my Hobonichi cousin for the week of April 24th. So I'm going to be doing my Hobonichi weekly overview and then after that I'm going to do my dailies for the week of the 24th. So for the Hobonichi overview, I'm going to be using the Boo Spring bundle that we created with our shop character Boo Bear. I, I love the sticker kit. I just love all things Boo. It's so like light and fun. And we have, it's like on it, it says live life in full bloom. We have some flowers some spring activities and I really love this box it's one of my favorites I like you very much then we have our boxes and all that good stuff our washi strips and then our headers so we're gonna I'm gonna start with this so I have never really planned with another planner I've been very I am just like in love with the Hobo Cousin planner just because I like that it has so much room. You can do your weekly spread, your monthly spread, and your dailies. And it's just like a lot more room to play around. For my weekly overview, I like to make sure that there's more space at the top rather than the bottom just because I like to use these numbers off to the side to like track what I'm doing at what time. I'm just going to straighten this a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to put the washi at the bottom personally. Just because I'm usually not doing much late at night and when I'm tracking stuff, I want to track what I'm going to be doing early in the day, like all the things that need to be done. It helps me time manage as well with work. What is your favorite planner? I told you mine is the Hobonichi Cousin, but I'm curious as to what your guys' favorite planner is, whether it's the Erin Condren or the Happy Planner, and why. I'm just super curious. I have planned a little bit with Happy Planner, but mostly I've just been exclusively doing the Hobonichi Cousin. Okay, so after I kind of border my weekly with the, the, the day strips and then the washi, I like to put the, the dates down. So Monday, and I go over here to make sure that I'm putting the correct dates down because I have on accident did it, and I did it wrong. So we're starting at the 24th, so I'm going to go down to these heart date dots, look for the 24th, and I'm going to grab some tweezers, my planning tweezers, just to make sure that I have some more control over these stickers because they are pretty small. And I like to put it to the left of the day. So this week is going to be a pretty hectic for me because I have a lot of projects that I'm working on currently for work and then also just, you know, personal life. Um, for example, I went and got my oil changed last week and fun little su surprise a fun little surprise popped up that my, the, what are they called? The shocks, the shocks that are in the back of my car are leaking. 
So I have to try calling the dealership because it's a newer car still, 2019. I have to call the, the dealership and basically ask them if they'll help me out with it since I'm pretty sure my car is still under warranty. But car stuff stresses me out so bad because I don't know much about cars. So I'm kind of just at the mercy of whoever the mechanic is and all that. Okay, now I have my dates down. And then after that, I put my full boxes. So with the full boxes, I like to stagger them and I put them near the bottom again, just because most of my stuff is at earlier in the day. So let's see what I want to do. Start with this, this cutie. I'm going to put her over here. On top of that, um, I'm also helping my sister with her wedding that's coming up. I'm her maid of honor which is super exciting and I'm so happy that she asked me to be her maid of honor. I have never really been in, uh, I've been like in one wedding, but it was a long time ago. I was younger, so I'm not sure like all like that really goes into it. So I need to plan the bachelorette party and then also the, what should I do next? Let's do this one. And also the bridal shower, which is going to be super fun. I just don't want to mess it up. Thankfully, my sister-in-law, she has been in a bunch of weddings, so she's been helping me out a ton. Let's do this little gardening scene right here. I've always wanted to be like one of those plant people that has like a green thumb and their house is just full of plants and it's just like wonderful and beautiful. But I actually have the opposite of a green thumb and I, I have fake plants. <laughs> I have fake plants because I have too much anxiety. Cool thought, but knowing me, not gonna end out well. I love these foiled flowers here. I just love how they look. Okay, and this is the last box. Uh, stagger up a little bit like this. Then I want to do um, my little sidebar over here. I've been tracking like my fitness, like exercises that I'm doing or not just even exercises just like movement making sure that I'm getting in movement in the day so it helps me to have this little box here to track that and then I'm gonna go over here let's see there's a this week so I'm gonna get a glitter header to kind of border this box down here and then above it, I'm going to layer this week. I have been doing a lot better with making sure to like be physical. Not, not last week, but overall, I've been doing pretty better. It might be a little crooked. And you know what? It's okay if this isn't perfect. Because as long as I like it, you know, and it speaks to me, and it motivates me, it's all good. Now I want to do some, some of these checklist boxes at the top. At the top. So I can kind of overview the main things that I need to be doing on Monday. Put this underneath it. And actually, is perfect for me anyways, because I start work at nine, so this doesn't cut the time off for me. 
And then I like to kind of stagger whether I use the boxes or the checklist flags just to kind of make it a little bit more dynamic, I suppose. Next. How do you guys like to use your weeks? Do you, if you have a hobo cousin, do you use the, um, the time stamps off to the side or do you kind of do your own thing? I used to not do this time stamps, but I love how it looks when you like use them and it's just so neat and aesthetically pleasing to me anyways. And then let's do a box. Sorry, I kind of talk to myself as I go through the process. <laughs> I tend to talk to myself more than not. One of the quirks, I guess, of having your own business. Okay, and then for these headers, I don't go all the way out after Friday just because I use this mostly for tracking for my work for DEK. For the weekend, I leave it more open just because I'm not sure it varies what I'm doing on the weekend. I'm curious too, do you guys like watching the full process of Plan With Me's? Or do you prefer having them kind of like sped up and then listening to the voiceover of whoever's doing the spread talk about what they're doing? And then as I go throughout my week, I'll be using Boo and Emma stickers. I love using Boo and Emma stickers for the weekly overview, personally, because they just it just pops out, you know, what I'm doing for the week a lot more. So I'm just going to place them. Let's see. I'm sleeping in on Saturday. <laughs> So I'm going to play this place this where the nine o'clock is at and I'll label it with whatever I'm end up doing that day. Same with Sunday. As the week goes on, I'll have these extra stickers if I want to use them. I'm going to use my flare pen for today. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so for today, I needed to do orders. I needed to make backers. And film. Okay, I'm gonna be using this Emma sticker, the Emma sticker, because it's Monday and I definitely needed my coffee this morning. So I'm just gonna put that right there. So cute. And then I'm gonna do Boo Emotions. My Boo Emotion sheet. I've used a lot of them already. I'm gonna do the the cute little heart faced one next to film just because this is so fun. There we go. So cute. Now I'm gonna do my spread for. I didn't do this yet just because I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight. So let's zoom out a teeny bit and now I'm gonna take you to do my daily spreads. Okay, so I actually wrote a little bit on here beforehand just because I was doing some like intensive planning. Like I was breaking apart all of my projects that I needed to do and then the tasks that I needed to do for the projects. So anyways, I'm just gonna have the stickers go around this. It'll, it'll work out. So I'm using the May sub box stickers for this week. And of course there's like a ton of stickers so i'm not going to be using all of them i'll definitely make sure to like use these throughout the month so what i like to do when i'm planning for dailies is i go with the full sticker sheets first and i kind of go from there let's start with this little journal sticker here Oh, this is beautiful. Put this down here. I'm gonna go the next day. I don't think I've ever seen, well, yeah. I've seen those like white windmills 
you know, in person, you know, when you're driving down the interstate or whatever, but I've never seen one that looks like this. It's so pretty. Hmm. I don't usually use the timestamps on the dailies like I do on the weekly. I haven't painted in a long time and I love painting. This kit makes me want to paint. And I deal with anxiety quite a bit. But when I'm like planning with the stickers, it just makes me feel so much more calm, put together, and also like inspired to actually do like what my what my to-do list is. So that's why I like using stickers. Like definitely you could plan without stickers, but I feel like it's not as fun. For sure, you'll feel accomplished and all that, but where's the sparkle? <laughs> I need a little sparkle in my plans, in my life. This cake looks so good. It looks like a pistachio cake or something like that. I've never had pistachio cake, but this makes me want to try it really bad. And I feel like stickers kind of like set the tone, well, like sticker kits help set the tone for the week too. Make it a little bit more fun. Not everything has to be super serious and black and white. Okay, so I did my full boxes. Now I want to do my dailies, the so Monday through Sundays. Very adulty things happening for me. I'm going to be turning 28 in May, so it's pretty soon. And I feel a lot older than 28 sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I don't even know. The washi. Let's see. Let's see if I can put it on straight. <laughs> What I like about our subscription box is that you have like everything that you need for the month all in one, just like a subscription. So you don't have to worry about, you know, having enough stickers because you have a ton of stickers with the sub box. Of course, you can always spread them out too, so your weeks look different. It's just nice having that, you know, that safety net of extra stickers. This washi also came with the subscription box. You get three washi that matches with the kit. With how well I can do this. <laughs> Oop, not that bad. Air this one a little bit over it at the bottom. There we go. For that, I do the functional boxes, and at the end, I do the deco. So, for example, for Monday, I have this list of things I have to do. This fun list. <laughs> so I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to write to do. Well, I'm going to write... Yeah, to do. Now let's do this little overlay. overlay. Mm. 
Let's also open the die cuts too that came with the sub box. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this book die cut down. I am obsessed with reading. It's literally, oh my gosh, yes. It's literally all that I do. It's read basically and plan and make stickers. Hmm. Ooh, yes, right here. Okay. I love uh, deco that has like flowers. It looks so good when you go back and put them in your planner and layer them on top of things. Uh, I like to put it kind of next to the the days, the deco. Hey, so the this is basically for right now. I might add a few more things later on as I write in my planner, but this is my spread for this week using the May sub box. I'm super excited to be doing plan with me's with, um, with you guys. Hi, this is me from the future. I'm jumping ahead so that I can fill in some of my planner. Got my trusty stickers. And some of the new boo stickers too that I'm gonna be using. Put this little cutie down here. I started an audiobook. And my orders that I did, the June sub board I we put up for the promo. I had a really bad migraine that night, last night. Put that down here. I had some really bad allergies this morning, so I'm gonna put my Boo Allergy sticker or Kleenex sticker. I have my Boo Bear Happy Mail. I'm just gonna put it here for me taking the mail today. And then there, are, there is some like blank spaces over here that I want to do something with it. Let's see. So it's kind of like green greenery with the flowers. So I think I'm gonna maybe make some and bear with me. I'm not like a crazy artist or anything like that. I might just make some vines going around and maybe like write something positive. A little like doodling nothing perfect or anything like that oh my gosh just because it helps calm me down it's relaxing i don't put pressure on myself for it to be perfect or anything like that because then it's not fun anymore <laughs>
maybe I'll draw like a, a butterfly. I'll doodle some butterflies. And doodling just calms down my anxiety a lot. I'm not perfect or anything like that. It's just for fun, you know? To kind of make it even more of my own kind of thing. Like, I like that we have stickers so that, you know, it can look aesthetic and I don't have to, like, stress out about, you know, if it looks good. Whereas, afterwards, I can doodle and just have fun. So, like, my doodles are inspired by the kit. So it kind of matches with it. Flip through this really quick again. I love the doodles and how they match with the kit or somewhat. <laughs> the colors was supposed to be purple but kind of ended up looking blue, but it's all good. Let me know if you and if you uh, doodle in your planner and what kind of things you doodle. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you want to get some inspiration or ideas for your own planner, make sure to subscribe to us because we are going to be doing these videos. We're gonna have these videos up every weekend. Dawn does her own plans with me. And um, I'm gonna start doing my own. And our planning styles are very different. And so both of our, both of our plan with me's has something different to kind of like bring to the table. So definitely just kind of like compare them maybe and see what's more your style. If you like this video, and you want to keep seeing plan with me's please give it a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and comment below your kind of reactions or thoughts on my planning and make sure to stop on by again thank you everyone bye